desert stands the most awesome weapon ever created by man, the incredible G-Bomb. Miles away, behind solid concrete bunkers, a nervous scientific task force waits for the Gamma Bomb's first awesome test firing. And none is more tense, more worried than Dr. Bruce Banner, the man whose genius created the G-Bomb. A few seconds more, and we'll know whether we have succeeded or not. I was against it from the start, Banner, and I still am. It is too dangerous. I still say you should have confided in us, your fellow scientists. You should have told us the secret of the Gamma Ray. Quiet, Igor. Here comes General Ross. Why the delay, Banner? What are you waiting for? My men have been stationed here for weeks, wasting time because of your infernal delays. Are you going to test that blamed bomb or not? Of course, General. It's just that I must be sure every precaution has been taken. We are tampering with powerful forces. Powerful forces? Bah! A bomb is a bomb. The trouble with you is you're a milksop. You've got no guts. They should have put me in charge of this test. By thunder, it would have been done by now. Oh, Daddy, don't be so unfair. Dr. Bruce Banner is one of our most famous scientists. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. You keep out of this, Betty. This is man talk. Don't mind Dad, Dr. Banner. Ever since he was nicknamed Thunderbolt Ross, he's tried to live up to it. <sighs> Thank you, Miss Ross. And now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for the final countdown. Good luck, Dr. Banner. It's ding-dong well about time. Listen, Banner. This is your last chance to tell me the secret of harnessing the gamma rays. It isn't right for you to be the only one who knows. Sorry, Igor. The formulas are locked away in my room, and they will stay there. You fool. Nobody has checked your work. If you've made an error, you might blow up half the continent. I ought to... I don't make errors, Igor. Dr. Banner, the countdown has begun. I'll talk to you later, Igor. You know how I detest men who think with their fists. In a few seconds, we will finally learn what happens when the powerful gamma rays are released. Wait, what's that? Good lord, it's a boy, a teenager. He's driving into the test area. Igor, delay the countdown until I can get to that boy. Hurry, man, every second counts. Sure, what a stroke of luck. All I have to do is keep my finger off the hold button. End of Bruce Banner. You, get out of there. You're in a forbidden test area. Cool it, man. The kids bet me I wouldn't have nerve enough to sneak past the guards. Hey, what are you trying to do? Make them think I'm chicken? Come on, you fool. We've got to reach the protective trench before the bomb goes off. Bomb? Meanwhile at the bunker, not having been told to delay the firing, a finger touches the fatal button. Three, two, one, zero. There! You're safe! And now I'll... Although many miles from Bomb Zero, Dr. Bruce Banner is bathed in the full force of the mysterious gamma rays. The world seems to stand still, trembling on the brink of infinity, as his ear-splitting scream fills the air. And he is still screaming, hours later, when... He's coming out of it now. Thank heaven. Banner, it's a miracle that you're still alive. You absorbed the full impact of the gamma rays. How did I get here? My name is Rick Jones. I brought you. You saved my dumb life. I figured it was the least I could do for you. You know, it's a funny thing. I'm an orphan, and no one ever did anything for me before, except you, a stranger. It's getting dark out. How long are they going to keep us here, Doc? I don't know. I don't know. They must be waiting for me to die. It isn't possible to take so much gamma radiation and not have something happen. I, I, I'm beginning to feel strange. My head is throbbing. This must be the end. The whole world's going batty. Even this kooky radio, it won't play. All it gives out with is static. That's no radio. It's a Geiger counter. It measures radiation. Listen to it. it. It's going wild. It's getting louder and louder, faster and faster. What's happening? What is happening? Oh. Hey, look at you. You changed. Get out of my way, insect. Where am I? Why am I locked in here? I want to get out. Holy cow, he's breaking down the wall like it was cardboard. 
Hey, Sarge, look ahead. What's that? Men. More little men. I don't know. What if he doesn't stop? As the stunned enlisted men pick themselves up from the wreckage, the mighty thing that was once Bruce Banner turns and... Have to go. Have to get away to hide. Like a wounded behemoth, the man-monster storms off into the waiting night. Wait! Wait for me! One lone figure follows him as a legend is born. You saved my life! You need me now! Wait! I'm going with you! Like a silent dreadnought, the hulking thing that was once Bruce Banner crouches in the shadows as the pursuing troops rush by. Mustn't let them find me. Fan out, man! We gotta find that... that Hulk! And thus, a name is given to Bruce Banner's other self. A name which is destined to become immortal. Look sharp there! Don't let the Hulk get his hands on you! While back at the base hospital... It's impossible. Nothing human could have smashed a two-foot-thick concrete wall. But he did! The Hulk did it! Bruce Banner and the boy! What became of them? Could the Hulk have... But who could ever guess the incredible truth? Who could suspect that Bruce Banner is the Hulk? Where's he headed for? Have to keep moving. Have to reach home. Formula inside home. Must get formula. Driven by sheer instinct, the part of the Hulk which is still Bruce Banner heads for a small cottage, smashing all obstacles in his path. Moving with unbelievable stealth for one so ponderous, he storms closer and closer to his destination. Until at last, a dim memory from the brain of Bruce Banner tells him... The third cabin. That is where I must go. The gamma ray formula must be here somewhere. An intruder! Well, you will not live to report Igor to the security police. What are you? I have put a 38 slug in your shoulder and still you advance. You, you did not even feel the shot. No, stay back. Don't, don't. You will shoot me no more. So, this is what the puny humans fear. And now? No, it's impossible. You, you aren't human. Human? Why should I want to be human? Stop it! Don't! You'll kill him! Put him down! Help! Down? I will put him down. So! Gosh, look! There's something taped to the bottom of that glass beaker. It must be what he was searching for. It looks important. We better get it to the army. I'll bet you wrote it while you were Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner? Why do those words stay in my head? What is that name to me? That face. I, I know that face. But it is weak, soft. I hate it. Take it away. You can't hate it. Don't you understand? This guy in the picture, before you changed, he was you. I, I seem to remember now. It was the bomb, the gamma rays. They turned me into this when darkness fell. It would have happened to me if you hadn't saved me. That's why I'm staying with you. Fool! I'm glad it happened. I'd rather be me than that puny weakling in the picture. I don't want you with me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. With my strength, my power, the world is mine! As for you, you are the only one who knows who I really am. Wh what do you mean? But at that very instant, the first rays of dawn appear, and with them... My head! My brain! It's on fire! What is happening to me? I... I'm changing! Changing? It feels as though a veil is lifted. I can think again. It's over. The nightmare is over. Gosh, you, you're Dr. Bruce Banner again. 
But alas, the nightmare of Bruce Banner is not yet over. It may never be over again. Open up in there. This is the police. Where is he? Where's the Hulk? He's got to be in here somewhere. Dr. Ben? The Hulk? Mean you, Doc. Empty. But we trailed him here. We know he came in here. Look, Captain, it's Igor, the spy we've been searching for. The Hulk. The Hulk. Get him to a doctor. He must have been in league with the Hulk. What happened to you, Dr. Banner? Why did you leave the hospital? How did you get that shoulder wound? How do we know you're not mixed up in this? Are you kidding? What do you think he is, the Hulk? Captain, we were in the Jeep which hit the Hulk. We got a good look at him. He was nothing like Dr. Banner. He was huge, powerful. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he was a giant gorilla that escaped from some zoo. No, he was more like a big bear dressed in tatters. Probably escaped from a circus somewhere. Personally, I think you jokers were seeing things. He was just a little Cub Scout on patrol. It's fortunate that Igor did not get your Gamma Bond formula. I'll take it for safekeeping. Minutes later, after the troops have left to continue their vain search for the Hulk. Dr. Banner, I returned to apologize for my father's remarks to you, but I never expected to find... To find me in the middle of a search for a monster? Neither did I. Neither did I. You're ill. You need medical care. No, he doesn't, lady. He just needs a little peace and quiet. That's all. Miss Ross, forgive me. I've been under a terrible strain. Rick will show you to the door. Sure, Doc. You just take it easy. Very well, I'll go. But if you should need me... Miss Ross, Betty, I'll call you later. After I've had a chance to pull myself together. Oh, it's Betty now. <sighs> How revolting. Please do, Bruce. I feel you're in some great trouble, and I want to help. Boy! I thought they'd never leave. Now can we talk? What did it feel like, Doc? Being the Hulk, I'll bet it was a gas. Say, what's wrong? It's all over now, isn't it? Over? No, Rick, it isn't over. It's just beginning. Remember, I became the Hulk when night fell and returned to my normal self at daybreak. But day doesn't last forever. It will soon be night again. And when the sun sets, how do I know I won't change once more? How do I know I won't keep changing into that brutal, bestial mockery of a human, that creature which fears nothing, which despises reason and worships power? Soon, the sun will set again. And here I sit, helplessly, fearing I may again become the Hulk. Let us leave Bruce Banner and his young friend Rick for a moment and turn our attention to the red spy known as Igor as he broods darkly in his cell. The American fools think I am defeated, but not yet. No, they shall soon learn that even in a cell, Igor can be dangerous. For they do not suspect that pasted onto my thumbnail is a sub-miniature transistor shortwave sending set. A set with which I shall now send a secret message to behind the Iron Curtain. And thousands of miles away... Comrade, I am receiving a cold message from Igor. Quick, let me have it. Hmm. This is high priority. I must give it to the Gargoyle. But I dare not face the terrifying one. Ah, I have the answer. Wait, why do you give me this message? Why do you not bring it to the gargoyle? You are my superior, comrade. It is for you to bring it. I cannot bear to face the gargoyle. There is but one thing to do. Comrade, do not ask me to do this. I beg you. Do it. It is an order. The gargoyle, the most feared man in all of Asia. Wait outside my door. Speak, or face the gargoyle's wrath. I, I have a message for you, comrade gargoyle. That is all. The cowardly weaklings dare not face me, but that is how I want it. Let them fear me. Someday all the world will tremble before the gargoyle. This message, it is unbelievable. In America, there exists a creature called the Hulk, whose power almost matches mine. I must find this Hulk. I must either slay him or bring him back as my prisoner, as a symbol of my might. Attention, this is the gargoyle. Prepare a rocket-firing sub for immediate departure. That is all. 
Brief hours later, the very latest model red sub cuts through the murky depths of the sea. Until, reaching a prearranged area, it unleashes an experimental man-carrying rocket. What's that? Our radar has tracked an unidentified missile heading this way. Unleash our hunter missiles. Within seconds, America's mighty defense structure unleashes its fantastic arsenal and... The missile is destroyed! But I have landed at my destination safely. And now, it is time for the gargoyle to meet the Hulk! And so, fate twists the threads of our tale tighter and tighter, until... If I'm destined to become that inhuman creature again, let it happen out in the open this time. It's hard to believe, Doc. You're the most famous missile expert in the world. You're brainy and cultured and all that jazz, and yet... And yet, due to forces unleashed by the gamma ray, I turn into a marauding savage brute at nightfall. That's why I gotta stay with you, Doc. Without me around, you might do something awful. You might even kill someone, Doctor. Doc? Your hands! They're changing! You're becoming the Hulk again! Just as I feared, I cannot stop it. It will happen every evening! Doc! Keep your hands on the wheel! Look out! Wheel? Who cares about the wheel? Who cares about anything? Slowly, ponderously, from out of the wreckage, a head emerges. But not the sensitive, clean-cut head of Dr. Bruce Banner. No, this is the brutish, menacing head of the Hulk. What am I doing here? Got to go... go... where? Oh, my head. We're, we're lucky to be alive. I know this countryside, near General Ross's house. Betty lives there. Betty! No, you can't see Betty. Not like this. Stop! My quest is ended. It is he, the one I seek. The Hulk. Meanwhile, just a short distance away, Betty Ross is lost in her own disturbed musings. I can't get Bruce Banner out of my mind. Somehow I feel he needs me. What is it, girl? You've seemed troubled all day. Oh, Dad, if only things were as simple as in your day, when a cavalry charge or a squad of infantrymen could solve anything. But today, with the strange, almost supernatural forces all around us, I feel as though we're on the brink of some fantastic, unimaginable adventure. Honey, you just need a little fresh air. Dad's right. Perhaps a walk in the crisp night air will clear my head. It will dry the troubled face of Bruce Banner from my thoughts. And perhaps I can tell myself it was all a dream. There is no hope. But there is a hope. And don't you ever forget it. Oh, no! <sighs> Fainted. Well, just like all weak, helpless creatures. Hulk, let go of her! You've got to leave here. If you're found this time, they'll... Shut up! Nobody tells the Hulk! You are wrong, monster! Turn around! Turn and face the gargoyle! Holy Hannah, who's that? Hey, look out, Hulk! He's got a gun! Bah, no puny pistol can kill the Hulk! The gargoyle did not journey this many miles just to kill you, fool! This is a different kind of gun. This weapon shoots a pellet of my own invention. Observe! The instant it strikes you, it saps your will, making you my slave! The Hulk is no man's slave! Ha! The gargoyle is never wrong! And though you seem too unimportant to waste another pellet on, I believe in taking no chances! It is done! Both of you, rise and follow me! Rise... Fortunately, in the excitement of the moment, the gargoyle does not notice the unconscious girl lying in the shadows between his two helpless prisoners. How easy it is for the gargoyle to be victorious. And moments later... Betty! Betty! Dad, it, it was horrible. It was the Hulk. He came out of the darkness. He, he was terrifying. There, there, my dear. You're safe now. Where did he go? What did he want? Or did I imagine the whole thing? I'll find him, Betty. I swear to you, my child, I'll find him and destroy him. And yet, in spite of everything, there was something, uh, something sad about him. Almost as though he was seeking help. I'll find him. If it takes an eternity, I'll find that monster. 
and in a speeding truck driven by a driver whose will has also been sapped, the gargoyle and his prisoners speed toward the coast, racing to reach their destination before the dawn. Faster, faster! What a prize the Hulk will be. What a fantastic specimen for our scientists to study. If we could create an army of such powerful creatures, we could rule the Earth. Finally, in the early hours before daybreak, the rendezvous is reached. Hurry, run faster, you dolts! Nothing must stop me now! And nothing does stop the gargoyle. Four minutes later... Made it! Ah, we have reached the edge of space. Now we shall level off and glide behind the Iron Curtain. But then, the first faint rays of dawn touch the Hulk as he sits in the cabin of the plane which the Reds have copied from our own amazing X-15. And as daylight bathes his brutal features, once again a startling, incredible change takes place. Where once the mighty Hulk had been, the light of the sun now reveals Dr. Bruce Banner, American scientist. The change is now complete. Hours later, as the red ship glides to a landing on communist soil, the gargoyle receives a startling surprise. Phew, I'm glad the effect of that gun wore off. The Hulk! What happened to the Hulk? Got any idea what this Joker's talking about, Doc? Not the slightest, Rick. Doc, wait! I know you! Of course! You're America's foremost atomic scientist, Dr. Bruce Banner! That means you and the Hulk! Oh, no! It's... it's too unbelievable! Under close guard, the gargoyle rushes his prisoners to his secret stronghold, and then... Your secret is a secret no longer, Banner. I know that you and the Hulk are the same. Doc, what do we do now? Easy, Rick. It's his place so far. But why? Why would you want to be a monster? You must be insane! It... It's the most horrible thing in the world to be a freak, a gargoyle like me. Doc, he's crying. I'd give anything to be normal, anything. So would I, but I'm as helpless as you. Wait, listen to me. I cannot stop myself from turning into the Hulk, but your case is different. I've seen cases like yours. I know how to cure you, by radiation. But although your features would become normal, your brain would suffer. You would no longer be a brilliant scientist. Doc, you ain't gonna help that creep, are you? Quiet, Rick. No matter what happens to me, even if I die, so long as I could die as a man! Then, at a command from the gargoyle, all is made ready. Now! And where a gargoyle had been lying... Doc, it's working! A man arises. You did it. You did it! Ignoring the two others in the silent lab, the lone figure walks to a portrait on the wall, and then, in quivering tones, he speaks. It was because of you that I became what I was, because I worked on your secret bomb tests. But it took an American to cure me. And now, now that I am no longer a gargoyle, I can defy you and all you stand for like a man. And not long afterwards, Yes, Comrade K, we have America's top atomic scientist. We shall learn much from him. What? How dare you interrupt when I'm speaking to the Premier? But Comrade, a disaster has occurred. Look! The prisoners have escaped. But where is the gargoyle? He has vanished. Listen, what is that? The gargoyle's escape rope. Quick, break into his office. Perhaps we will find a clue. Come in, comrades. I have been expecting you. Who are you? I was once he whom you called the Gargoyle. But now I am a man again. No longer brilliant. No longer a scientific genius. My work is done, and so I shall die. But I shall die as a man. Don't trigger that switch. While in the rocket ship above... The Gargoyle set its controls for America, Rick and set the automatic escape ejector for us. So we're saved by America's arch enemy. Gosh, you did it, Doc. You made him normal again and turned him against the Reds. Listen, that blast. What is it? It's the end of the gargoyle and perhaps the beginning of the end for the Red Tyranny, too.